I think what makes my show different than anything that's on television right now is that I'm on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, I think it would be the, the fact that we're kind of talking about pop culture in a way that is smart and fun and witty and completely shady at times. I guess the, the number one thing I would want viewers to take away from watching So Popular would be that they, they feel that they see themselves, that they've been heard, and that more importantly, that the, the culture that they, that they are entertained by actually makes them think. You know, I grew up with a single mom with five, five of us in the household and the TV was kind of the centerpiece and so television enabled me to see myself and to also see the gaps in, in representation and so being able to kind of have mirrors or access to mirrors showed me the power of where pop culture could be if it, if it really was inclusive and diverse and so what we do on So Popular is check those, those gaps and try to fill them as much as possible. My dream guest, her name is Beyonce Knowles. She's the woman that kind of um, really enabled me to see myself as a teenager when I was watching TV, when I was engaging as a fan of pop culture and music. Oftentimes when other shows talk about popular culture, they treat it as if it's a, a topic that is like a guilty pleasure and we kind of center it as the access point for us to kind of talk about larger and broader issues, issues like politics and identity and community and, and what it means um, about the work that we're doing and where we want to go and how we really see ourselves.